Hey, it's Joseph here. I have a package here that I would like to open today. We all knew what the package was going to be. It is Logitech MX Anywhere 3. And if you have been watching a few of my videos at the least, you guys might have realized that I have quite a lot of Logitech devices because I kind of built myself into the ecosystem and I really appreciate their sort of professional design that is meant for professional usage. So I think this would be a good one too. So let's go ahead and examine what's on the box. So it says MX Anywhere 3, the Master Series by Logitech, compact performance mouse. And that's what I would expect from the Anywhere series. It is USB-C quick charging, quick charge in one minute for three hours of use. That is good to see in full charge, lasts up to 70 days. And you do need a USB port or I guess Bluetooth is also possible. And you can use it for Windows, Mac or Chrome or Linux as well. And also on the back, it states that it works for iPad OS. And some other marketing words, I think we can talk about the max speed scrolling is something that's included in this mouse in contoured form and ultra soft silicone side grips and tracks precise even on glass and seamlessly work on up to three computers at once and you can have profiles, customizations and flow cross computer control. So everything you pretty much expect out of Master MX Master 3 mouse it is in much smaller package. But let's go ahead and unbox this one first. So box inside of the box and as you open up you can see the mouse and after the mouse there is the unifying dongle that you can connect. I already have several of these and all of my keyboards and the mouse are already connecting with one single dongle to my computer. So I can just kind of put this back and also it's going to utilize Bluetooth too so I don't really need to have this for laptop usage. And underneath this, there's some paperwork and then included USB-C to USB-A cable. So that's pretty much the content for what's inside of the box. Let's go ahead and undo the sticker that's on the bottom of the mouse. And it is pretty much stating what you need to do to get this mouse going. Let me peel that. And then you can see that there are four feet and the connection button where the laser would come out right here and then also the switch. So actually inside of my daily bag here, I just put my mouse right here and looks very similar to the one that I just opened up. So here in comparison, this is the newer one that I just opened up and then this is the previous version. So you can kind of see that the design is a little bit different perhaps, but overall size is pretty much the same. And you can see the trim color size is slightly different. And in terms of weight, I think it is slightly lighter, but it's really hard to tell. I might be just thinking that instead of actually being lighter. So the name for the scroll wheel is mag speed scrolling and max speed scrolling is basically what they had introduced for master three series where you're able to have this sort of magnetic wheel where you don't have as clicky wheel, but it does have that sort of notch as you turn and it's virtually silent. And as you turn, the wheel has this sort of magnet that's built into it and allows you to scroll very far as you spin that. So that has been very useful. And basically the previous version of Anywhere 2 did not have that. And that was actually biggest gripe that I had towards this mouse versus the new one actually has the max speed scroll and it behaves exactly the same. And that is really good to see. And let me get to why I actually appreciate that. So as an architectural designer, I use middle mouse button a lot. And 
Sometimes they call it middle mouse button or the scroll wheel button. So in the normal mouse, you can actually click on this to cause different functions. In a lot of 3D application, that's either the pen or orbit that you can do with the middle mouse button. And that is very important. It is essential to your workflow in addition to being able to zoom in and out or scroll around your page. In the Anywhere 2, whilst this is a great mouse and it is very compact, that's why I keep this in my bag all the time. But the problem is when you click on the scroll wheel, it makes this weird sound. In addition to, it doesn't really cause a click. Actually, the way it is built is that when you click once, basically the scroll wheel becomes sort of this free spinning wheel. But once you click on it again, it becomes sort of the latchet scroll wheel again. So you can switch between the two modes and it is quite noisy too. Basically the whole mouse with the scroll wheel kind of jiggles. So in order to do the middle mouse button, I have assigned middle mouse click with this little button that is just above the scroll wheel. And that's vastly different to other mouse's behavior that I'm used to. So whenever I switch the mouse, I kind of learn to adjust instead, but that's been a bit of a hassle. However, with the new version, now that is just a function key that you can assign any sort of key button and the click for the middle mouse button is going to work with this scroll wheel that is revamped and you can do the free scrolling, the fast scrolling function with this new wheel, but you could also do the smooth ratchet mode with the max speed scroll wheel that you are used to if you had the MX Master 3. So that pretty much solves the biggest gripe that I had with the previous version. So no brainer to move on to this one. And I think the only downside is the fact that you're not able to do side scrolling as you had it with the Anywhere 2. And the second point of upgrade is the USB-C. Basically the USB-C allows higher throughput for the wattage that it can push. And also many of my other devices use USB-C, therefore the charging becomes really easy. I have USB-C cable that is lying around and I can just connect that and then the mouse is going to charge. I don't need to fiddle around trying to find micro USB anymore. USB-C charges your laptop, phone, your mouse, keyboard, everything nowadays. I'm not so sure about this uh, side silicon versus rubber, but supposedly it is better. It is feeling a lot smoother and I don't know if it is just because this is old versus new. And in terms of the contour, I see that not much has changed, but this is definitely a small mouse. It is not necessarily the most ergonomic mouse that you can find. And that's also completely fine because I'm intending to use this on the go rather than on the desk for many, many hours. For that, I have Master 3. And let's go ahead and test it too. So let me just go ahead and turn it on and it's gonna start blinking. So here's basically my point about being able to use your mouse for navigation purposes inside of your 3D modeling software. This one is SketchUp and I can zoom in and out much easier smoothly with the new scroll wheel. If you push the scroll wheel a lot, it's just gonna free up the wheel so that it can turn a lot. So that control is really easy, just like my Master 3. And also, now I can finally click on the scroll wheel to orbit. And that is the much more preferred function in order for me to pen and also orbit. All of that is sort of muscle memory to me by now, so I don't like switching in between. So that is consistent throughout. So that is great. And I can just kind of look around if I want to, zoom out if I want to, look around and then orbit, pan, all of that becomes very easy as you use a combination between the scroll wheel and then the orbit button. And currently this one, the middle button is not set to anything on my computer. So let's go ahead and open options. So on the options, you can now see MX Anywhere 3. I can click on that and let's see what other functions that are available. So continue, max speed scroll wheel. Yeah, we've talked about that. 
and then mode shift button click manually toggle between ratchet and free spin mode so basically that replaces clicking the scroll wheel instead and in order for you to do horizontal scroll you can hold down either forward or back button on the side and then scroll wheel as well so basically that replaces using the side scroll with your wheel and then you can also assign back forward undo redo inside of other applications that you use and you can set up different profiles to different application that you use and you can certainly use flow if you're into that as well flow is basically allowing you to go between machines so in my case i often just set up the laptop and desktop so i can just go between with the same device here are all the same functions from master 3 is available and as a default it just switches between wheel mode so if i click this button here it goes from the free spinning mode versus a ratchet mode and i'm really fine with how it behaves by default so what i will do is instead of the wheel mode shift i'm going to change that to a gesture button and that way I can control my media control. This is how I usually assign my master three. So I just press the button once to play and pause the music, volume up and down, next song, previous song. Basically that's how I usually use my master three anyway. So I'll set it up that way. So this mouse is definitely going to replace the previous version inside of my everyday carry bag. And I'm very happy with this new scroll wheel. And because now the Anywhere mouse have implemented the same scroll wheel and function, I can have a consistent mouse behavior throughout home, office, cafe, or anywhere else other than those two places. If you have enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe to my channel to continue watching these type of videos. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I'll see you next time. Bye.